Okay, maybe it's over here somewhere then. Oh, found it! Duh! Mr. Blackfish? Well, I won't beat around the bush. I've come to ask you to tell me about Gregor Herschel. Hi, my friend, have you not forgotten something? Uh, s such as... Do you have nothing to all the tongue? I do not, sir. Then get the hell out of here. Well... Yeah, that's right. Make yourself scarce. Well, I don't want to offend Well, you. okay, if you want to chat, bring some supplies. Why don't you come back later? What? What was with the eye? Also, what was with that longshoreman's, uh, ear thingy? It was like a... I don't know if that'll show up on my thing, so like, you know? Anyhow, uh, Longshoreman, what the fuck? Okay, I can't ask you shit, you're just staring into a barrel. That's fantastic. Um... Can I give you matches? No. Can I give you money? Mr. Blackfish? Well, I won't beat around the bush. I I'd probably have to go to, to the, to uh, me about Gregor Herschel. Uh, my friend, have you not forgotten can, something? The, uh, general store. I'm such such as, do you have sir. nothing to all the tongue? I do not, sir. Then get the hell out of here. Well, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skip that. So, all right, that also brings up a random little story for my life. So, uh, this morning, at like, I think it was something like 6 a.m., apparently this happened. I don't know where the hell they got my credit card number but someone used my credit card in Arkansas not like my physical credit card because I still have it um, my credit card number they picked they got it from somewhere who the hell knows where um, and they used it in Arkansas and my bank was like uh hey your last thing was in Ohio I don't think that shit's right and I was like yeah that's not right that was not me and so uh, that was fun it's also uh, 12 30 2018 I think I've said the date a couple times already this video sorry to be so scatterbrained but I was just like are you kidding me this is how I'm bringing in the new year yay so uh, yeah fun times from and son at your service. Kremen son, at your service. <laughs> Alrighty, hey. Excuse me, sir. Do you have something strong that'll cheer up a miserable fisherman? Mm, you mean hooch? How about this stuff? This isn't easy to come by, the way things are these days. There are stock problems, and the suppliers are taking advantage. Not to mention the insurers. Yep, it all has effect on the price. But <laughs> what the hell? I'm not in it for the money. I provide a service to my good customers. If they show their appreciation... So apparently we're buying some hooch. Awesome! Here, take more of my money. Here. Will that be enough? Well, I'll be damned. You are a good customer, sir. I like people who show their appreciation. If you're in need of anything else at all, my pleasure, sir. All right. So we got some hooch. We got some Fremlin's Milk Stout. Is that a picture of an elephant? I think that's a picture of an elephant. <laughs> On the bottle. That's, that's fine. That's all right. Okay. <sighs> I'm surprised our friend with the knife isn't like, hey, give it that hooch. Oh, hi. Oh. Alright, so that's apparently the symbol for you gotta use something with them. Oh, Y'all got God. the fire water lead? Here. And it's good stuff, too. Good. <sighs> so. Do y'all know that at the time, terrible things were being said about Gregor Herschel? He wasn't one to shy away from crime, and he must have made masses of dough. Everyone here has their reasons to look out for customs, my lad. At the time, the local businessman wanted to make a fast profit at any cost. Vessels would arrive in the bay at night, brigs and caravels overflowing with contraband, and secretly come ashore. 
You get the picture. Except that his cargo consists of blacks from Guinea. They used to unload them to the north of Pawtuxet. There was a prison down there, a big stone building. At first, everything went fine. He wasn't the only one doing it, see? Except that one day, it wasn't just blacks. On that day, the Navy were out for blood because of a Coast Guard ship that had burned. <laughs> Great. The Liberty. They spied a big merchant ship with its lights dials heading for Nakin Point. They followed it, then boarded her. Ah, good God. I'd like to have seen the face of the customs officer when he saw the cargo. It was Egyptian mummies. I'll bet he was well annoyed. Because, of course, they were not illegal. As for the mummies, no one knew what they were for, Milad. Do you see what kind of things he was up to? Mummies, huh? What a strange thing to smuggle. That ain't the half of it. You know, the strangest thing of all was how often he used to replace his sailors. One crew would go on shore leave, some of them were laden with goods. And when it was time to sail again, there were always two or three men missing. The sailors are superstitious beggars. The tough sailors from the slave ships, pirate vessels, and the huge brigs, Brown, Crawford, and Tillinghast, would make the sign of the cross when they saw the old man going into his warehouse in Dubloon Street. His mates and his captain detested him, but they were tied to him by the grip of fear. Nobody wanted to sail with him no more. His crews were made up of mixed-race sailors from Havana, Martinique, and Port Royal. Oh, yes. The Port of Providence has seen goings-on strange enough to make your blood run cold. Not more than one month later, three likely lads, not the type to miss a voyage, were due to set sail on the Gaita. They'd been seen the night before, but the next day, not a trace. The sheriff turned up with his deputies, the Redcoats, and they took the place apart looking for alcohol. That's right. They didn't give a damn about the lads. Then Smith was asked to put a notice in his newspaper, but there was no response. I'm pleased you take an interest in these things, but you need more detail to get a clear picture. Tell you what, I know a lad who can tell you all you need to know. Arthur Procop. At this time of day, you'll find him in the Royal Standard. It's 20 yards back towards the church there. Tell him I sent you. Thank you, sir. I'll find it. See you again, sailor. Okay, I have no idea what the hell is happening with the models when it's like glitching out, but holy shit, that's unsettling. Also, holy shit, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Ugh, also like when I think our guy's name is William, when he was like, it's the good stuff. That's like me when I'm like, oh no, it's really good. <laughs> and everyone's like, you're a baby face, why the fuck are you? Anyhow. So, mummies. Why they would have been smuggling mummies? Well, there were such things as mummy unwrapping parties, where people would literally just have a party and they would unwrap a mummy and go, Oh goodness, look at what we found! Um, that kind of shit, right? Um, there was also a paint called Mummy Brown, which, I mean, I think it's still a shade today, or at least it's like a, uh, you know, a like shade or a duplicate shade. But Mummy Brown, actual Mummy Brown, was made of ground-up mummies. Yeah! That's literally it. It was just ground-up mummies. So that's fun. <laughs> it looks like paperclip almost on the side there. Anyhow, alright. So... Hi! When in doubt, son. I'm just gonna come back to uh, At your service. this guy. Cause, uh. Probably? Gonna help? Nope. Okay. Uh. So. Maybe if I go. back here? Good day, sir. Excuse me for interrupting your work, but. Do you have any articles in your archives about a fellow named Gregor Herschel? It's surprising to see how Herschel still provoke. All right, same thing as before. I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Probably to here. No. Uh. Maybe to the longshoreman. 
sure anymore, to be honest. I'm just kind of going places. Nope. Okay. Said that I need more something. More research. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna look this up because I really want to keep going. Alright, I'm supposed to go talk to this guy. Okay. I was sent here by Mr. Blackfish. I'm looking for information about Gregor Herschel, a colonial ship owner. Well, you've come to the right place, my lad. It so happens that my father's great grandfather, Milius Proca, at Clostino as well. I should have some documents passed on to me by my father. Give me a little time to look. Let's say tomorrow. Same time, same place. Okay. Also, the hands in here are so weird looking. <laughs> That's a weird thing to pick out from all the other weird shit, but like the hands are especially like... Anyhow. Alright, so I guess I gotta go home. I assume. Well, I can't go up there. Can't even use my telephone. Oh god. Okay, I can't talk to you. Alright. Can I? Can I talk to you? I cannot. Okay. Well then. Alright, I'm supposed to go to White release. Apparently it'll be open to me now. Uh, no. Okay, um... Oh wait! Are they talking this watch release? It is! Okay, I was thinking his father's. Anyhow, um... I'm going to save because I haven't in a while and I probably should have been. Okay. William, it's been so long. I'm here to see how you are. When you came to my house two days ago, you... I'm sorry, my memory fails me frequently. When you came to my house, you seemed very disturbed, as if you were in some danger. Forget anything I said to you. I was upset. Let's forget it. Dr. Eagleton is worried about your health. So is your father. Edgar, are you sure everything's fine? I'm relying on you to reassure them. Everything's fine now. Allow me to introduce you to my colleague, Dr. Owens. Valentina Fidicuria. Don't forget what we must do, Mr. Witchley. Agi quad agis. I shall await you in the bungalow. I'll leave you to your work, Edgar. Yeah. William, goodbye. Please be so kind as to give my regards to Mr. Eagleton and inform him that you yourself have observed that everything here is fine. There's... I have the distinct feeling that everything is not fine. 